And finally, tomorrow marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch, and our Katie Inman introduces us to a Knoxville woman who got to see that launch thanks in part because of the tireless work of her husband. It's hard to believe it. it's been 50 years. Catherine Tidwell remembers the Apollo 11 launch like it was yesterday. We watched in VIP stands. Her husband, Ken, played a key role in making that history. But I said we were space people. We were all on the ice of Texas, right? <laughs> he worked for Boeing and was stationed at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida as a test engineer in the firing room. He just loved his work. Sometimes I wouldn't see him for two or three days because he actually slept on top of a desk out there because they were so busy. Catherine played mom and dad while Ken spent time making sure the astronauts made it to the moon. But I was very proud of him. Two days before the launch in 69, Ken was honored with NASA's Man Flight Awareness Award for Boeing. And Ken's name will forever be part of the landing. His name is in a time capsule on the moon, along with all these other guys that worked that same thing. When the time came for the launch, his head always saying, is it gonna, is it gonna go all the way up or is it going to, something's gonna happen to it right <laughs> And when it was a success. We did it. We made it. <laughs> Cause you know, you never knew when they were really gonna go all the way up. Now she remembers through memorabilia. See his name's on the back of it. Her husband who passed in 2013 helped change the world. I thought he was pretty. Katie Inman. A pretty special person. 10 News. And Ms. Tidwell says she will celebrate the anniversary tomorrow with a glass of wine and dinner.